Are you sad because summer 2020 got cancelled? Well, worry no more because I'm here to make you even more sadder. Sadder. Sadder? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel good when you show me around. Yeah, I feel good while you're running. I feel good with your love, babe. Yeah. Ooh, I feel good ooh, with your love, babe. Cause I feel good when you show me around. Yeah, I feel good while you're running. I feel good with your love, babe. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia, and for today's video, I will be showing you some summer outfit ideas that you can wear anytime at home or for your Instagram pictures or pagtatambay ko dyan sa tapat ng bahay nyo. I actually did my research last night at 2.45 a.m. and I found out that July is actually already the rainy season. But there is no rain whatsoever. I wanted to give you guys some ideas on what you can wear to look cute even if the world seems like it's melting. But before we get started, make sure to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel because I make beauty and lifestyle videos every week and I promise you won't regret it. So support your girl. With all that said, let's get right into it. Okay, starting off with a very awkward Sophia, here you see me dusting out the framing for this video because the girl spent an hour trying to find a perfect place to film this. But I'm just wearing my favorite pambahay and I want to take this opportunity to remind you guys that during this time, whatever you wear is fine as long as you feel good, comfy, and is well aware and educates oneself of the issues around us today. But dressing up is also super fun, so let's get right into it. For this first outfit, I'm starting off with this white ribbon overlap crop top from Shopee and pairing it with these thrifted culotte pads in beige. This particular fit is inspired by your favorite rich tita who only buys organic food from severely overpriced grocery stores. We should probably be more like her. You can definitely tone this down a little bit by pairing it with some cute slippers and a cute tote bag. You can even tone it up by adding these huge pair of earrings and a layered gold necklace. Or maybe not. This outfit is my favorite because it's chic and comfortable, making it perfect for a very hot weather. And now for a second outfit, or for a more casual look, I wanted to try a different silhouette by using my dad's shorts. I'm so happy that longer shorts are getting back in trend. I love how they add a more unique and laid-back feel to a very preppy fit. These baggy bottoms also add more shape to your body, making you look like you have more hips than you really do. Is that a good thing? Anyways, I'm pairing this with these black heels to balance out the girly and boyish side of this fit. And of course, summer isn't just about the days under the sun. So for our third look, I'm gonna turn this into a night girl boss outfit by adding this padded blazer with animal print on the inside for a sophisticated and professional look. This one is perfect for fancy parties after quarantine where you want to show off a little bit and hide the fact that you spent all of quarantine in bed. And for this one, I'm not sure how this particular outfit looks like, but for an even more casual look, you can also pair the shorts with cropped polo shirts to confuse people because the only thing making you not look like a typical white dad is your tummy showing off from your shirt. I made this very cute cropped polo shirt from my previous video, so make sure to check that out. I'm also tying this look up with my favorite pair of sneakers. Okay, let's change the music a little bit. And now for a fifth look, I'm sticking with the shorts and switching my shirt with my favorite bikini top. But no dad, I won't wear this outside just like this kaya wag ka na magalit chan. If you're comfortable like this, you can totally rock it, but you can also cover it up with a printed button-down shirt. I got mine from Shopee. This one is perfect because of its tropical print, and I'm just gonna tie it in front for a chic look. 
This one is my favorite Kaartehan meets tour guide look. And I'm also pairing this one with the same sneakers. For the sixth outfit, I'm simply switching the shorts with my black pair of mid-cut joggers from Cotton On. Actually, I don't know what to call this, but yung bitin na joggers is mahilig sote na mga dancers. I wanted to achieve a biker shorts look by cinching it even higher. You decide if I achieved it or not, but you know, it's all about working with what you have, and for my shoes, I wore the same sneakers to tie it all off. And of course, we can't forget about the days where we all can't really be bothered anymore. Climbing straight out of bed with my favorite oversized graphic tee and pairing it with this cute denim skirt. One secret to make this work is to tuck in one side of the shirt to let your skirt peek through a little bit. This shirt I stole from my Ninang's closet, but they are so easy to find in your local thrift stores, mostly in the men's area. Now, I'm just adding a belt to make it look like I tried. Kinda. And finishing it off with some sneakers. And now for a total change of mood. Here comes a perfect Sunday with the family look. I'm wearing this super cute floral dress I stole once again from my mom's closet. I like this one so much because the tie sits just below my chest area, making it hug my body perfectly. A tip for your IG pictures is to lift one leg and cinch up your dress a little bit to add shape to your body. If you go to church like we do, an easy way to make this look church friendly is to add a plain white shirt underneath. Mine is a super thin turtleneck. And finally, for that last look is that beach outfit you never got to wear. I'm bringing back my favorite white top and pairing it with a floral maxi skirt. This skirt has been reserved for that summer beach trip I've been hoping for, but since summer 2020 got cancelled, I guess it has to stay in the closet for another year. But here you go, para naman my own thing exposure siya. And that's it for today. Hi, I wasn't able to make an outro for this video. Here you can see my script. I had a really fun time editing this, so if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Click the red button at the bottom of this video and I promise you won't regret it. If you have any specific videos you want to see from my channel, make sure to comment down below and I'll try to do all of them. Anyways, thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Follow me on my Instagram too. Bye-bye.